air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius welcome to my channel this is Chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing I really appreciate your love and support in this reading we are going to find out what does your person secretly want from you please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will, and it will not resonate with each and every one of you all right air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius let's get a reading started spirits and angels please show me what does Gemini Libra and Aquarius person secretly want from them Show me more. Okay, so they want you to be their wife or their husband. Because we've got the Empress here, they secretly want to marry you. It may not be a secret, but if they don't tell you, then this is it. The Empress here. And also we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and Reverse. For some of you, if you've, if you've been working really, really hard or that you're focusing on something else, feels like your priorities may be somewhere else. Your person may be secretly wanting you to you know, let go of some of those responsibilities or whatever you've been doing a lot lately and uh, give them more of your time and your effort. Yeah, definitely that's what I'm getting here. So we've got the two of wands here. They're not telling you this. It feels all that they could be holding some grudges towards you, not uh, putting more effort into uh, this connection or into them uh, or just not spending enough enough time with them um, or not paying attention to them okay some of you you're still with this person and for some of you maybe there could be some issues going on or could be separated so we've got the two of wands here they're definitely looking into the future right next to the empress here it feels like they secretly um want you again to be their wife or their husband that's definitely what i'm seeing here again it's very very clear these two cards here so i'm repeating it and also we've got the hangman here you know they always ponder about in the beginning part when both of you were together with the six of cups here they always reminisce about how things used to be in the beginning part of your relationship so they may secretly want to relive that or that they want you to be that person um who you used to be when uh, both of you started dating when it was sweet <laughs> and romantic you know maybe some things have changed right and six of cups if you're separated from your person they may be secretly wanting you to return to them okay they could be just be waiting here with the hangman and yeah definitely wanting to reconcile with you with the um, temperance card here Mm -hmm. let's see more you definitely have an ex who wants to reconcile secretly wanting you to return to them but if you're currently you know just uh with somebody right now in a relationship with this person i feel like some of you maybe you're just focusing on something else right now or um, you're just not giving them enough of your time or, or your energy and they actually resent you for that and also again we've got the six of wands here and one first so you're not paying in enough attention to them it feels um, but I feel like this can also apply to if you're separated from this person, maybe you're not really, you know, paying attention to them, you're just doing your own thing. So they secretly want your attention, right? Or it could be somebody, again, that you could be in a relationship with right now, and you, maybe your focus is somewhere else. Maybe you, you're taking care of yourself or taking care of other people. Um, and Empress is perpetually pregnant, so secretly maybe they want to get you pregnant and want you to carry their child or again it could go vice versa got the five pentacles here and one verse six of swords and the page of swords although separated from your person yeah definitely there's this energy of them secretly wanting you to return to them it could be two different people here too for some of you yeah one an ex and one whom you could be currently in a relationship with if you do have somebody right now page of swords this person is definitely spying on you mm. six of pentacles and one verse i definitely sense that um they secretly want you to return to how things used to be for the both of you these three cards indicates like a return you know blast from the past <laughs> they've been thinking about it because we've got the hangman here pondering what happened what happened um in the beginning part of our relationship it was so nice it was so sweet 
we were so happy <laughs> and then you know maybe for some of you there's a separation here or that maybe somebody was lying and it may have changed the dynamic of this connection and maybe you have stopped paying them attention or that maybe for some of you you're just so busy right with other things your focus is somewhere else so it feels like them again resenting you because of that they secretly want you to return to how you used to be or how you used to treat them right so we've got the seven of pentacles and one first four swords here and also we've got the three of pentacles Hmm. They secretly want to marry you again. <laughs> three of Pentacles can be a marriage card. I'm um I say the Three of Pentacles sometimes can be a marriage card because this is actually in a church, but Three of Pentacles also can be an indication of fixing, rebuilding. So they secretly may want you to fix something that is broken in this connection, or meet them in the middle, compromise with them. Right? Four of Swords. They may have been praying and praying and waiting for you to be the one perhaps to take the initiative to want to fix things with them or to compromise work as a team with them so the pentacles here i'm a verse hmm. i feel like some pentacles in reverse can be an indication of them wanting you to see they secretly want you to see right when it's in reverse the pentacles are like falling out of the bush so finally seeing something uh, and pentacles they are something of value so they may also secretly want you to see their value their worth or what they bring to the table um it could be anything right but four swords here they're just praying and hoping that you would see that they secretly want you to um see their value because it feels like you're just Again, it's like you're focusing on something else right now, right? It could be anything on yourself, on your work, on, you know, somebody else or home situation, children, health, anything. So five of swords here is in my first. And we've got the two of swords and the five of cups here. So your person is actually a bit sad, disappointed right now with the two of swords here. Again, maybe you're ignoring them. Maybe you cut them off. Um, and again, maybe you're focusing on yourself or you're focusing on somebody else. And Five of Swords here is some burst. To be honest, your person, if you're still your person, they secretly also could be considering letting go of this connection if you've been ignoring them. That's just for some of you. But uh, secretly, they want you to fight for this connection. They want to... They want you to work with them, right? To reconcile, both of you are separated, but they're definitely indecisive right now, but also, you know, could be leaning towards, you know, maybe I should stop fighting for this connection. And we've got the Eight of Wands here, Ace of Swords, and also we've got the Star here in the first. Yeah, they secretly want you to see very clearly uh, and communicate with them, eight of wands, and maybe eight of wands can indicate a shift as well, and they may want some changes, the change is funny though, the change is not like change to become a different person, but change to becoming how you used to be, how you used to treat them in the past, right, it's not like, oh, something is wrong with you, and I want you to change, but it's more like, uh, right now, <laughs> I'm not too happy with the way you treat me or that if you're not paying attention to me and that I wish things things uh, stayed the same from, you know, in the beginning of the connection. But, you know, but to be honest, that's really unrealistic <laughs> because people do change, people do evolve and we all go through so many things in our life um, and it changes us, right, due to our circumstances. But I feel like they just don't understand that. So they secretly may just want you to like, okay go back to how you used to be or treat them um, but treat them like how you used to be and for some of you maybe if both of you separated if this person has disappointed you and that you find it really hard to forgive this person maybe you have changed into someone else who is not giving <laughs> uh s-h-i-t <laughs> um not giving s-h-i okay I cannot, I cannot say it when I'm like spelling it out, but you know what I mean, right? That means you don't give a mm, about them, right? So it feels like 
now they want your attention, right? Your person actually wants your attention. They really, really want your attention. It feels a little bit desperate. feels a little bit sad. feels like they're hoping and praying as well at the same time. Hmm. Maybe they also secretly want you to speak with them if both of you are not talking with each other right now. And, you know, tell them the truth and be honest with them. Have clear communication with them. All right, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with uh, a few videos on the screen right now. They're from my second channel. For those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel. It's a travel vlog channel, so check it out if you want to. I spend a lot of time actually editing these uh, <laughs> vlogs and to a point where when I'm done with it, I'm so, so tired. I'm like, okay, next I need to do my, you know, tarot reading and I'm just so drained. That's why I don't post as often on my travel vlog channel. But anyway, check it out if you want to and also I will leave you with a playlist on the screen. On this playlist, it has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. It's titled Bonus Reading. I just changed the playlist to this playlist because something is wrong with the other original main playlist, but <laughs> it's still there. Um, check it out if you want to, okay? And they're still valid because as you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Alright, take care. Bye.